How you doing YouTube? It's Chris Mizo here. I'm just about to build my new PC. The last time I built a PC was back in 2014. And I'm sure you guys probably are wondering exactly what I edit on. It's about to be on this piece. I'm also gonna use it for my up and coming business that will be open sometime in 2020. And I'm excited to announce that. Thanks to my wife, she got me one of the greatest gifts, a freaking Threadripper. That AMD Threadripper is a monster. I'm so used to having Intel throughout the years and I've always questioned about AMD parts because I never really had a, uh, a good experience because the first PC that I actually built was at AMD and it wasn't really all that great from what I thought. Then I built on an Intel processor. It's worked great throughout the years and I'm hoping this AMD Threadripper is gonna do exactly just that. And I need something to produce 4K and encode it very well. This thing looks like it's the perfect piece to do it. So I'll get started. So first things first, I'm gonna build using this Asus case, tough gaming case, the GT501, just in case if you're wondering. I'm about to pull this up on the table. I'll leave all the products that I use down in the description box down below. If you want to check it out, feel free. Who doesn't like unboxing things? As you can see, it comes in pretty securely and has these two foam packings. And so I won't really bang around. There it is in all its glory. And it looks like it, had, it comes with this um, user manuals inside. And the nice thing about this case is, looks like they already have all the grounding screws uh, mounted for the motherboard. Looks like a honeycomb filter. Without further ado, let's get started. Now this is actual glass, so you gotta be careful with this. So. Make sure this doesn't drop. Yeah. Handles definitely make it a whole lot easier to maneuver around. All right, so let's take a look around it. Here's the case. As you can see, it comes very nicely packed. And everything's secured very, very well. Here's the front of the display, and that's the front. It's gorgeous. So we're going to set everything, the motherboard, and as you can see, they got everything on the side with the grounding screws. One thing that really had me sold to this case was the fact how in the front of it, you can actually fit the radiator, a 360 millimeter radiator. With no problem as you can see I'm prepared I don't play any games especially that I know I'm gonna mess with a really expensive processor you can see the 3970x 32 or Red Ripper I'm not gonna open that just yet I usually like to put the processor into the motherboard first before I actually install it in there. Wrong Strix TRX40 eGaming. Asus motherboard. That's how it looks in the inside of it. I don't know if there's anything really in this box here. It's heavy, it's pretty heavy for a motherboard. Bunch of nice little stickers in there. Little installation guide and let's see, coupons for cable modding and an official ASUS card here and a TRX40 gaming manual. Yeah, it's 
definitely heavier than my previous mullet board. Look at this thing. Right there. Isn't that pretty? As you can see, these actually use torque screws. We're gonna open this puppy up. Alright. Ah, that didn't do much. <laughs> so you definitely gotta cut through here. Now you officially see how you unbox this thing. A MD Ryzen Thread Ripper. You gotta rip another sticker. It's kind of rubbery. It's not like a regular sticker. It's Kind of a pain to kind of. There you go. There it is. Make sure you open this bottom piece up because it's like a torque wrench. You just turn it till it clicks. So you want to definitely use the one that's supplied in the box. And you do not want to over torque anything because it will damage it. And of course, they got the stickers. It doesn't come with a cooler, so you have to make sure you supply your own cooler with this. But I always prefer using AIO coolers because it's just more simpler. But it comes with this bracket, just in case if um, any of the coolers that you do get for it, um, you install this with your bracket. I believe with the cooler that I have, I may not have to use that bracket. Open this up, three, two, one, so they give you a sequence to open it up. So you want to start with three. So three, two, one to open. And one, two, three to close. And it's that simple. Okay, so you just open this. They have these blue tabs here. Make sure you pull up under the lever here to pull up this rail frame. There you go. You see they protect the uh, socket here. And if you notice, you pull this plastic piece off, it slides in. Just like that AMD thread ripper, it's supposed to, when you slide in, you'll hear a audible click. If you hear that audible click, it means it's in. You're ready to go. So all you have to do is grab the thread ripper, take out this plastic piece, and Make sure you take out this socket. It's a little cover to protect the pins because unlike the Thread Ripper, it actually has the pins on these threads. So just be very, very careful when you're sliding this. So just follow the rail frames and you just slide it in. All right. You'll hear that click and now it's in. So now you can actually put the load plate on there. And to close the sequence, it's one. You'll hear a click on here. All right, that's tight enough. Two. That's on there. And three. A little awkward using this tool. We'll start taking care of this case and start prepping it for install. Now we got G-Skills DDR 3600s that we're gonna put in. That's exactly how they look. They're RGB, so that makes it pretty cool. That's it. Power supply right here. Nice Corsair on him. 1000X. Plenty of power to handle this thread rubber. Some wire ties, of course. Look how nicely packed they put all these wires. It's really useful. It's all this way. Okay, so it slides forward. And it pulls out. Very simple. How are you feeling? 
Uh-huh. Here's my wife, not feeling too good. I feel so warm. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All the different wires and the different uh, mirror that it has for it and brackets. TR4. So here I installed the bracket for the TR4 set for the pump. You'll line up four screws to the holes where the instructions tell you to. Next I installed the pump, but make sure you put the thermal paste on the CPU prior to the install. I personally like to use Arctic Silver. The pump will line up to the set of four standoff screws with the cooler. The holes will be on the four corners of the processor. I changed out the mirror plate on my cooler. I prefer the blank mirror. Gives it a cleaner feel. And that's as easy as popping open a lid. Counterclockwise to open, clockwise to close. Then I installed the radiator with the fans installed on the front of the case. Next, I lined up all the power wires to the power supply unit to make sure I have an idea of how I'm going to route my wiring. I also installed the case wires to the motherboard as necessary. Next, I installed two SSDs. In order to install them on this motherboard, you have to remove the heat sink cover. After you install two stand-up screws for the SSDs, and only then you can screw it down. Otherwise, if you try to install the SSDs without the stand-up screws, you'll bend or damage your drives. When you're done, simply install the heat sinks cover back on. I installed my 2.5 inch SSD drive on the hidden side of the case for a cleaner install. But when you're installing an OS, just make sure one SSD is getting power. One of my favorite parts, opening a graphics card. A MSI GeForce 2080 Ti. This is definitely a step up from the 980 Ti. Next I mount the GPU in the motherboard. And with this case it's a breeze because instead of screws holding it down, they're thumb screws. Next I clean up my wires and wire tire where I need them for an organized look. It's ready to go. So let's give it a shot to see if it starts. But first things first, gotta make sure to put the honeycomb filter in the front of it. Looks like it booted up perfectly and this beast is ready for action. That's the final product. Isn't it beautiful? I sincerely hope you found this video very useful. And if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more. This is Chris Mizo signing out. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you.